Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play The Da Vinci Code. Alright, in the last episode we made it through bits and pieces of Mission 4 and finally got our uh, key card upgraded. So that will help us out the rest of the way as we try to escape the bank. Now I just want to make sure that I got everything taken care of before I leave. You know, just in case there are more security guards to deal with. Or in case I can't come back. I mean, so far it seems all good. Nothing really to deal with. These guys are still napping. Good for them. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about any others coming in, I hope. Because that would suck. If we had to deal with more guards. At least there are plenty of things to help with distractions. Oh, wait a minute. Why does this one say examine? I guess we can look around. Nothing on the floor. Nothing by the uh, plant. What about on the top shelf? Oh, wait a minute. What's this doing here? Johnson, are you a... Are you playing with a little ballista again? No, we're, we're talking about a toy. This is not inappropriate. I swear. Okay, now which way am I going? Looks like it's through here? I must be missing something. Yeah, a security terminal needs a security card. All right, there we go. Now we should be able to get across. Sophie, where the hell have you been? You were completely AWOL for the past 15 to 20 minutes. There's some weird stuff going on. Hey, move. I think the coach should be clear. Nope. I don't think any of these are doors. Just double checking to see if there's also a camera. You never know, that could be a thing too. Okay, we're back at the atrium. The server room entrance is under guard. You must find another way through. There are air vents that go from the safety deposit box area into the server room. Find them. Air vents, eh? There's at least one guard here. Some by the door. I wonder if we can actually get a sneak attack. I mean, somebody already looking for me? Target spotted. Get back up now. The hell? I was holding out one and it took out the guard. I mean, it took out my sneak. Okay, I guess we'll have to do it like this then. That was weird. Like, I was holding L1 and I suddenly stopped sneaking. Why did that happen? Now, I don't know if Sophie can actually die from this. Because I don't see her health bar. I got my own problems to deal with right now. It all could have been avoided if you just let me go. Leave her alone. Okay, there this we go. Oh. Ow! Get away from him! Oh, thanks for the help. I appreciate that. We always gotta stick stick out for each other. Do not make me help. Oh, she's so threatening. You know, she has to watch. File a worker's comp claim on me. Okay, were there only two guards? Uh oh. Think I might need to drag them. Cause I hear another guard. Let's try over here at the corner. Oh, I can get over there. 
I find, like, I said this before and I'll say it again. Like, trying to drag the guards and move them. It's not very easy to do. It's very finicky. This is no Splinter Cell. That's for sure. And again, this game is not meant to be Splinter Cell. Can you imagine Sam Fisher trying to do anagrams? <laughs> and have his, uh... Have his superior going like, Christ's sake, Fisher. It's Alec Guinness. <laughs> okay, can we go through this door? Loading docks. There could be an air vent there. We can try it. Seems to be the right way. Wait a minute, let me look at this. It says 03. Yeah, this is not gonna work. We need to upgrade it again. There's no other door. Well, let's try it anyway. If I had everything I needed, I'd be able to complete this. But I don't. He says there's something about an air vent. Where's the air vent? Maybe it's not in this room. Maybe in the next one. Yeah, let's go back to the atrium. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's probably another guard. Oh, the guard might be up there. Probably don't see us. Okay, this is where we need to go. The server area, of course. This was the way we were supposed to go to begin with. Hello? Air vent? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Which was more clear, like, where the sound was exactly coming from. Can go over here? No. Over there. Bring ourselves in the light is not exactly the best laid out plan. Break time soon. Uh oh. I see one. Of course, is that the only one? Oh shit, there's two. Okay, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Just pick a random room, we'll see what happens. That's not it. Where the hell did it go? Oh, who am I to complain, right? Uh, yeah, two of them were over there, and then they just all left. Hey, Lawson, what are you talking- Uh-oh. I don't even know one of them was, like, on to me. Sophie, you're not exactly hiding, are you? Have you had enough? Do a better job next time. Sorry, I help you. Wait. Oh. oh God! We're getting flanked. We're now in defend again. Please do not help. Oh my God! Now I'm on to the other one. Sophie, can you keep one distracted for me? That would be appreciated. You should be Look, we are in trouble. We're a team. We are in trouble. You can file a worker's comp claim on me. Not very clever, but sure, we'll take it. <laughs> I like that slow wind up while you're doing your inputs. Sleep well. You'll be feeling that when you wake up. 
Well, that was rough. <laughs> what does it do? Oh. I don't really think it does much else, so you know what? Yeah, we'll lock him in here. All right, get in here, please. Stay there. We'll go grab the other one. We should at least try to be stealthy. Even though it fails nearly every single time. <laughs> at least the game doesn't punish you too bad if you were to get caught, because you can fight through them easily. I'll give you an easy out at least. Oh my god, now I'm... This is terrible, like, if you're able to apprehend them, or at least knock them out, you should make it a little bit easier to move around. Thank you. Now they will definitely leave us alone. They can't escape. Okay, air vent. Air vent. Oh. Apparently we can't use that one. That is weird. Like, this should come in useful. It should, but it ain't. <laughs> They're already knocked out. Well, we just came from there. There was just another can. It seems to be all cans now. So you open a box of cereal. Oops, all cans. Where are the bandages? Like, pre preferably a small or medium-sized one. So I think a large one might be too much. I'm not seeing an another vent. I think this is one of the vents that Vernay mentioned. Really? Because that one seems smaller. I mean, if you can get in there, get in there. Go do your thing. The guard Paper post at the front contains the controls to open the door for the main security computer. Do not alert the guard to your presence, or there may be consequences. I wonder if his mother knows. They're all dead in the end. Wait, there's another guard? Or wait a minute, was that the same guard I knocked out that said the speech? So that makes it so much weirder. Also, I barely understood what my objective was because the two speech bubbles played at the same time. It's like one interrupted the other. That ain't right. Ah. Did it. I am a true spy. Now, if only I could just walk over a body. Thank you. Come on. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> this is so ass. It really is. Upgrade terminal. Hmm. Here we go. I am missing something. At least I made sure I gave her everything I need. I've upgraded the card. I must go for now. The police have more questions for me. Your card will get you into the loading dock through the atrium room. Stay out of sight and get to dock three. The key I gave you will open the security trucks there. Okay, we've been there before. So at least we know where to get to. Is this door a good idea? I suppose it doesn't matter. Either way, we got the clearance. It worked. Now for the next belt. Good job, Sophie. Kind of nice of you to just spawn right in. And look, his health just regenerated. That is convenient. <laughs> All right, I think I just went the wrong way. Gotta find the door. Like the actual door. 
Alright, so far so good. I mean, most of my issue is just like getting into fights. And the fights haven't even been hard. They're just time consumers and nothing else. So, did you ever see me interesting up on this today? Well, did I put that in? Uh huh. You did not hear about my family with Christopher Columbus? Columbus? What do you mean? This crazy drunken man that walked into a random house and decided to take up residence there since it was currently unoccupied. Was he on I drugs? Just alcohol as far as I know. He got a locksmith to come out and change. Oh my god, am I actually gonna get in here without alerting the guards? Wow! <laughs> they were not able to notice me. Awesome. They called the police, of course. They better not come in here. I'm Finally. What did he do? We're still having this conversation. Okay, loading dock three. He called it manifestation. What a madman! Oh, so what did you do? Here. This looks useful. That is amazing. Stolen. This is a beautiful place. But the lawyer, Mr. B. Smith. Oh, you see one. Things around so fast, the entire department got sick. But what did he do? Well, first he gets the breaking and hearing charges dropped based on some silly combination of laws. Since the door was over. unlocked, there was no reasonable Here. expectation of keeping Someone people there. out, he said. Ha. Then he conjured up some law about squatting oh, on guards. property in the absence of its own heirs. And because it was technically his home, we had no Stop right to search and Oh, wouldn't give me the sneak I'm option. That's bullshit. How insidious. Oh, and I messed up. Homes, the street, as a free man, probably looking for another home to invade. Like it was, I was right behind it, and it still only gave me regular attack. Why? That should have been a sneak attack. Whatever. There's only three inputs to finish an attack on these guys, so these are weaker cops. Yeah. I will use false if necessary. He'll be all right. He's out cold. I should move him out of sight. Oh wow, you beat him up too. Good job. This was all your fault, Ken. Could have won this had it not been for your incompetence. This could be handy. Oh well. What the? Really? Streets. That's the only cop run there. Got away from the stop. Otherwise, I'm gonna mess this up. Don't you dare turn 180 degrees. Ah. Of course, he turned exactly 180 degrees before he stopped. Why don't we just call it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come yeah. on. I was waiting ah. for my time. Because usually when I try sneak attack on somebody walking, I miss. So it's one or the other. The last hit knocked him out cold. Okay, so I guess only one of those doors will open. So which one is this? Armored truck. That's not going to work. Oh, of course, the key. Oh, I got two out of three secrets. I can't complain. Glad well, we finished a level, so uh, that's what I'm happy about. Alright, good stuff. This was an interesting level. I kind of prefer, like, you know, like the older buildings rather than, like, say, a bank. Like exploring the church and like the underground is pretty fun. Where now? Chateau Villette. The Chateau Villette? The very one. It's where Sir Lee Teven lives.
there. Nobody will ever suspect an armored truck pulling in. Absolutely not. Especially someone not wearing a uniform driving it. Alright, so this is our, our second time exploring a mansion. Oh, hi. At least we don't want to sneak in. These are friends, Remy. Then, sir, I have other household matters to attend to. Very well. So, Robert, what brings you to the Chateau at this most unfortunate hour? Lee, we've come to talk to you about the Priory of Sion. The Keepers? So, this is indeed about the Grail. What is it you want to know? Well, first I'd like you to explain the true nature of the Grail to Miss Nauvoo. Robert, you've brought me a virgin? What? Virgin is the term Grail enthusiasts use to describe anyone who has never heard the true Grail story. I believe the lady here is in need of an education. How fortunate, then, that you've come to me. Only the worthy can find the Grail, Miss Naboo. The path to truth lies through the doors of my home, but they only unlock for the enlightened. He's a bit eccentric, but we're safe here. I know we can help us figure out the cryptex. Just play along for now. All right, Shelty Bink. I will find the path. It's through there. <laughs> All right, so learn about the Grail by talking to Robert. Definitely not Remy. <laughs> All right, I'll have a chat. We got a bit of time. Welcome to the Arthurian Legend Room. If you would take notice, there are two wonderful paintings depicting the tales of Arthurian knights, and at the doors you will find the armors that they wore. The Arthurian knights had their own heraldry, which is displayed on the shields. You, Miss Naboo, must discern which shield goes with each painting by placing the appropriate shield with its armor. If you examine a shield, I should be more than happy to tell you that knight's tale. Oh, really? Now I gotta work with shields. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right, we'll start with the shield with the heart on it. This is Percival's shield. Sir Percival was one of the first knights to see the Grail. During his journeys, he came across the castle of the Fisher King, and in the sky above it saw an image of the Grail. Inside, he found that the Fisher King was quite ill and bedridden. But while Percival knelt beside him, a great procession walked down the hall. At the end of the procession, a lady carried a chalice, but Percival failed to inquire about it, and the King was not healed as a result. Percival vowed to find the Grail again someday, and became one of the three knights to embark on the final quest for the Holy Grail. Good for him. All right, let's talk about the shield. My dear Sophie, this is the shield of Mordred. Mordred was King Arthur's son who was born of Arthur's half-sister Morgana. When Arthur and Gawain were away from the kingdom, Mordred seized the throne and took his father's wife, Guinevere, as his own. In the final battle over the kingdom, Mordred fatally wounded Arthur, but was then defeated by Lancelot. One story states Lancelot executed Guinevere, believing she had taken part in the usurpation of the throne willingly, and entombed Mordred with her dead body, which he ate to stay alive until he eventually died of starvation. Oof, that's a morbid tale. <laughs> this is the shield of Lancelot. Sir Lancelot was raised by Vivian, the Lady of the Lake. He was the epitome of chivalry and was always courteous, courageous, and kind. He became the first knight of the Round Table, but soon fell in love with Queen Guinevere. He slept with Guinevere behind Arthur's back, and when he did so, a broken shield that Vivian had given him became whole again. That's a weird way to go about it. Or I thought that Lancelot was such a jerk. This is Galahad's shield. Sir Galahad was the son of Lancelot and became a knight of the Round Table. 
he saw a vision of angels guiding him to the Holy Grail. Thus, he was selected as one of the three knights who would go on a quest for it. When they found the final location of the Grail, Galahad was one of the few allowed to see it. Okay, so now there's two more. Ah, this is the shield of King Arthur Pendragon. He became king when he pulled the sword Excalibur from a stone. Uther Pendragon, Arthur's father, was the previous owner of Excalibur. Before Uther died, he implanted the sword which he got from the Lady of the Lake into a stone and said that whoever could remove it would be king. Of course, only his own magical bloodline could do so. And thus, Arthur ruled over Britannia for many years. Yeah, he passed the interview test of, can you pull the sword out of a stone? And where do you see yourself in five years' time? This is the shield of Sir Gawain. He was the most chivalrous of the knights and was bound by his honor to do what was right. He was the only knight brave enough to accept the challenge of the mighty Green Knight. Lancelot mistakenly slew Sir Gareth during a rescue of Guinevere, thus causing a bitter rivalry to form between Lancelot and Gawain, who was Gareth's brother. Lancelot was a bit of a troubled guy, making so many mistakes and sleeping with a man's wife. Okay, so what shield do I place here? How can I tell whose armor this is? Doesn't even give me an option. Should I look at the paintings? Okay, there's some green armor right there. I'm thinking this painting would definitely belong to the first one. Who was the first one again? I forget his name, but it was right next to Mordred's shield. It was this shield right here. Percival. Because he saw the grail over on by castle. So we'll go here. Well done. Now, what of the other knight? He looks rather plain without his shield. Hey, I can't do two at once, dude. Okay. Let me work at my own pace. Okay, now this one might be a little cryptic. Was it Arthur who saw this? I think so. I think it was Arthur. I mean, if it's wrong, I just gotta replace the shield, that's all. That's not the right shield for that armor. Look at the painting and remember the stories that come from the shield. Wow. You were quick to correct me. Damn. Alright, I guess I'll have to listen to the stories again. So, where would it be? Was it Mordred? It happened to be someone that saw the lady by the lake. Or maybe it was Galahad? Some vision of the angels guiding him. I think it was Galahad. Which I think it was this one, right? Yeah, because he's the one that had the vision with the angel. Got it. Excellent, Miss Naboo. I trust the Arthurian legends are entertaining? Yes, I quite enjoyed your tales. Knights questing for the Holy Grail does make for an entertaining story. But I assure you that it is no mere cup. I know, sometimes it's a ball. <laughs> no, no, my dear. You see, as a Grail historian, I'm often asked, where is the Grail? It is rare that people ask me, what is the Grail? because everyone assumes that it is just an object. It is much more than that. Now that you know the question, why don't we see what answers we can find here? All right, so I can choose 
whichever door. Does it matter? I can open that way, can I? Not yet. Oh, there's a note. Solomon's Songs, verse 14, line 4, word 3. Okay, so I gotta find Solomon's Songs, and I gotta remember what verse, what line, and what word. This is probably a passage from the Bible. Do we have a Bible? Does this man have a Bible? Come on, where are you? Oh. Hold on. The painting of the Last Supper for some reason. Why is that there? Something lighting on the frame? No. Um why am I looking at this again? Why does it look like Jesus has a mustache? It's probably the resolution. If I were to wager, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna look around the frame again. Or maybe I should be looking at the candles. Or, maybe I should be using my UV light? Or not. Maybe there's nothing here yet. I don't see anything out of place. We'll come back to it. Uh, Bible? Red Cross Chalice. Blackboard Chalice. There's multiple chalices. Huh. Surprisingly, there is no Bible in this room. What about in that one? Is there a Bible there? Something is definitely missing from this pedestal. Arthur. Do I have to take one of the chalices? Oh, there's a Bible. Okay, verse 14. This is the one. Oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret place of the steep pathway, let me see your form, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your form is lovely. Wait a minute, oh my dove in the clefts of the rock. Oh god, I hope rock is not considered line two. Or is 14 line one? I think it said like line four, word three. So if that's the case, maybe it's here? H-E-A-R? I'm gonna have to look at the note again, just to be sure. Yeah, let me double check. I wonder how they actually did the lines. Line four, word three. But line four technically didn't even have three words. Let's try here. It worked! <laughs> Whoever thought that it would actually work as a word wrap? <laughs> like the sense was considered a line. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. I do not need this. Shows how much you know. <laughs> do I want to play piano? Won't exactly let me. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I saw a symbol over there. I also see a Venus spear. I'll take that. Oh, the symbol's gone! Interesting. Also, this is some weird-ass mansion with so many secret passages and stuff. Wait, did I just... 
Can I just loop around over here? That was weird. Well, at least I don't have to worry about combat. It's more about using my noggin. But you know, I'm not gonna complain in the slightest. Hold on. I think it's the Red Dragon Chalice. Because if I remember, Arthur's shield had a red dragon on it. And there was a pedestal that had the word Arthur on it. Yeah, I think it's just coming back to me. Alright, let's, let's put the chalice on there. If it's wrong, we'll put it back. I thought you said the glare was not a cup. It isn't, but as time progressed, the Holy Grail became Arthur's Grail. The legends were intertwined, and it was simply because poets and storytellers continually wrote about it and changed a few things here or there. So that's why the Grail became a cup? Uh, not exactly. I'll explain more later. Why don't you explain it now? I don't want to wait till later. This is not important. I wonder what these lifts are for anyway. Oh no! I need to move the tiles to form a picture. Oh no! It had to be the sliding puzzles. God. I hate sliding puzzles so much. And maybe I'll get lucky with this one. Maybe over here? Oh, holy shit! That was lucky! Oh, thank god it was only like a 2 by 3 slider puzzle. And it opened another door. Over here. Oh, I can examine the table. Music sheet? Let me guess, I gotta go to the piano for that. What else is over here? That's it? Oh, Alright. More paintings. Huh. Somebody really liked the Mona Lisa. A little too much! Dude, I think you got problems. At least you're going after that, Mona, not the one that's five stars and Genshin Impact. <laughs> that would take up so much of your time. Now well, we're back here again. Remy, I was wondering... Why? Why are you bothering me? You obviously do not need any of my services. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. This is a dead end? Oh, I can't walk up the stairs. Okay, so I just loop back to the beginning. I might as well just go back to where the piano was. Yeah, let's just go take care of that. Can I talk to you? No? What about you? There must be something more to find. Something we've missed. Wait, don't you have any faith in me? I'm I'm insulted. I found a music sheet. I'm gonna play some tunes. I'm gonna play some Wonderwall for ya. That's what it is, right? Wait a minute, where's the room with the piano? Oh, right, it's beyond here. Ha! <laughs> it worked. Now for the next belt. Oh, God. Oh, wait, 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 let me... I'm a lyrical genius. I didn't know it was like this kind of input. Then I had to wait. Okay, here we go. The Grail operas of Wagner also speak of the Grail as a vessel in which the blood of Christ was gathered when he was killed on the cross. But that is not true, is it? That entirely depends on your interpretation. Grail can mean many things. 
Are you familiar with the symbols for male and female? Of course. These are not the original symbols. These symbols originated as ancient astronomical symbols for the planet god Mars and the planet goddess Venus. The originals are far simpler. This is the symbol for male, the blade. Quite to the point. And this is the symbol for female, the chalice. Legend tells us the Holy Grail is a chalice, a cup. But the Grail's description as a chalice is actually an allegory to protect the true nature of the Holy Grail. You mean the Grail is a woman? Exactly. A woman who carried with her a secret so powerful that, if revealed, it threatened to devastate the very foundation of Christianity. Who is she? As I mentioned before, da Vinci painted the true Grail. Come to the dining room when you're ready, and I will show you da Vinci's painting. The plot thickens. Alright, so I think we should stop here, and in the next episode, we will head over to the dining room and take a look at this painting. I'm thinking it's the Last Supper painting, because we looked at that before and couldn't do anything. See everyone, thanks for watching.